doing this very long. When did you start and why did you go on OnlyFans? So I started February 22nd. I decided, you know, I was a glamour model years ago whenever I was 18 and had the kids. You do lose yourself whenever you have kids and my sexuality was always a big part of who I was. So whenever I had the kids, I kind of came away from it and I was like, no, I'm going to get them up. Got them up, opened the female only gym. And when they, when I started to work then, I sat with myself and was like, what would you do if you didn't have to weigh the weight of the world, the world's opinions? And I said, I would go into porn or I would go back into the glamour industry. And that's what I did. And I literally went, I'm going to do OnlyFans. Wow. Just I, like that. Just like that. Just like that. And is it that simple? It's that simple. You literally make an account and you upload what you want. Okay, so because you've only been doing it a number of months really mm -hmm. and you're already now in the top 1% of yep. earners mm -hmm. on OnlyFans, which is pretty remarkable. Yeah. <laughs> so like what sort of content do you put out there that has obviously got you such massive traction? So all my stuff is solo, so it's all solo. You mm. can do, obviously, you can literally do whatever you want on the site. It's not only for porn, but for me, it's mostly glamour, but it is softcore porn. There are X-rated stuff on the site. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do, but it's all solo. And I do have collab coming up, so that will change. So there's stuff in the pipeline. Oh, collab, wow. so that'll be yes. with another person. With another person, yeah. Yeah, okay, so this is what you're thinking of yes. moving towards. Uh -huh. Okay, and is that through requests from yes. people who are obviously paying? Like, how does it work? The like, do people request you to do stuff and you decide? Like, how oh, does it absolutely. all work? So obviously you get your requests on the site. You have your subscription fee and then people can pay you for whatever they want. Now you can. The beauty of it is you say no to whatever you don't want to do. You say yes to whatever you want to do. You don't have to do anything. You can literally decide tomorrow I'm coming off it and I'm away. See you later. Yeah. But you decide. So you do get, you know, requests to do. So I've been requested to do everything under the sun. But I only do what I feel comfortable with. And there, there is, I've seen how this has transformed people's lives. Mm -hmm. And this is in your control. Yes. But you have decided there are an awful lot of anonymous people on OnlyFans. Yes. You know, they kind of do, their head mm -hmm. is never in it. Your head is in what, in what yeah. work you do. And you've talked about it. Mm -hmm. So, of course, people are going to have an opinion. What has been the reaction? Wow, the opinion. Do you know what? My family and my friends completely support me and they made a joke. They were like, whenever I went on to it, they were like, I thought you'd have done this before, long before now. I'm, <laughs> I'm quite surprised it wasn't before. But the opinions vary. I get a lot more support and a lot more love than I do hate, but the hate's louder. The hate is a lot louder, especially online. Nobody's ever come up to me in the street and said, you know, anything except support. But the hate online is extreme. Like I'm talking a hundred messages a day, calling me for everything under the sun. Wow, okay. Everything. Everything. And any threats? <clears throat> I've had threats. Um, definitely that's part of it. I've had to put up security cameras around my house just to keep myself safe, to know who's there, who's not there. So yeah, it's extreme. Uh, you, like you're from Ballycastle, County Antrim, small little Very area. Small time, you do yeah. have two young children mm -hmm. as well. Do you, when when you're putting that sort of material out there with chil with your own children, mm -hmm. like do people comment from that as a mum? It's not really the done thing, particularly in a small rural area in Ireland. People do. People love to have their opinion and it's absolutely fine. I would be silly to not understand where they're coming from. Yeah. I completely understand their worries. But the way I look at it is I was in a very bad place for two years. I was suicidal in 2022 I didn't think I would make it out and it, it, nobody cares about my kids that's the thing people do not care about my kids they just want to say they care nobody cared about my kids when I was suicidal it's funny that when I start to become empowered and step into my power people are very worried nobody cares about my kids okay so, so when you were having a mental health <clears throat> crisis mm -hmm. and your two children were at home and you're trying to keep it all together no one was going there's something nobody wrong with cared. Megan we should step in nobody cared oh let's worry about the kids no nobody cares so but now let's think of now, the children now let's think of your children and I'm going because what's happened Some, like something bad happened pictures pictures were sent to the oh, school oh yes so my everything off my site was sent to the principal of the school Thankfully, it's a female. She she didn't even bat an eyelid. She didn't do anything. It was actually social services that rang me and told me about it. Okay. Because so there was a police welfare check, because I was supposedly making porn. 
the best men in the house. I was having gang bangs. <gasps> and anybody that knows me knows I am very weird. Even about the threshold of my house, I won't let people enter my house uh -huh. if they're not my best friend. You know, like workers and stuff, I'm like getting the sage out once they leave, sage in the house, cleansing <gasps> the house. I don't let people into my house. So anybody that knew me knew that's rubbish, but I'm not making porn with people I'm doing it on my own solo. So that was rubbish. And they were kind of like, yeah, we can see it's harassment. Because uh, so, social services were called with yeah, this to come absolutely. out and check about your parenting. They and... they rang me and within an hour the case was closed and okay. the police came out then a couple of nights later and literally we joked about it because they were like, listen, I can see that the kids are fine. I'm very, I would say I'm a very good parent. I'm a very protective parent. So yeah. there's this, it's contradictory. Yeah. So, and I think that's the beauty of it is that but I am this big sort of person online, but I'm also extremely protective. Yeah. Do you shield your children from this? Because they are at a young age that they won't know what OnlyFans is. They don't know is. what it is. But there will come a time that they will. Absolutely. And that this is their mum mm -hmm. and who is doing solo stuff at the minute. But as you said, you're happy to explore other areas. Yes. So do you worry about them and the playground? You know, children can be mean. And children are awful, but adults are awful too. And I think that we all worry about bullying as parents. And no matter what reason, what the substance is of the bullying, I'm going to be there with them going through it. You know, I was bullied all my life and my parents weren't in the industry. You know, mm. they're obviously I worry, but I worry just the way a regular parent would worry. Obviously, there's now another element and there's another area added into that. Yeah. But the onus isn't on me as a parent. I will protect them to what I can, but the onus mm. is on parents to make sure your kids don't bully. Mm. We grew up in Ireland, as you know, in a very, very shameful, sort of sex is shamed. I'm bringing my kids up in a really sex positive household where nothing's shamed, mm -hmm. nothing is shamed. And I know there will be parents at home and they will be probably judging you for what Absolutely, you do right now. Yeah. I get but it. Can we talk about the fact that you are in control of your body and what you do? and what you do, it's, it's your money. Whereas for an awful lot of time, this has been a hidden industry that has mm -hmm. been controlled by men, controlling men's body, women's bodies and their mm -hmm. money. And there does seem in the world that there is an issue with women taking control of themselves in the sex industry. Mm -hmm. uh, do you feel that? Because you said you were a glamour model. We had page three girls for decades yeah. in an industry that was owned by men. There was no issue there. And no. no one was like, think of the children. Children could open a paper. Mm -hmm. Is like, does the hypocrisy just hit you in the face Absolutely. all the time? Absolutely, there's double standards here. We know that, you know, all you have to think about is the very perfect example of if a man sleeps with a hundred females, he's amazing. But if a girl does it, oh, it's awful. The double standards are massive. I think we live in a society that we have internalized misogyny and we don't realize it. You know, misogyny, my degrees in philosophy and psychology. So I've studied back to the early days, you know, Cleopatra. Misogyny is rife in all areas of life. And, and in women as well. Internalised um, oh, misogyny, yeah, I mean, 100%. I mean, and listen, fair play to you. And like the fact that you've gone through that period, you've decided this is what I want to do to make me happy. And boy, it's working for you Absolutely. to be making up to 10 grand a month, you know, one of the top 1% earners on OnlyFans. And to do things like being able to give money to your local community centre mm -hmm. and back that as well. It is, you know, it's, it's That's fascinating. That's what I want to do. Like, I want to help people. So for me, my bigger mission is, so whenever I'm getting the comments and stuff online and the threats and whatever else, I'm just thinking the bigger picture is I want to pave the way for women in Ireland to be able yeah. to do what they want. And I, I don't push people into the industry at all. In fact, I've turned down a substantial amount of money to work with 18 year olds because I'm like, no, no I don't get... believe yeah. that. Well, also, it's right. important to say this is behind a paywall. You're not pushing this in anyone's face. Absolutely not. And any man or person who is consuming it, maybe look at them as well if you want to judge you, that everyone should Listen, have the same amount of judgment. Listen, we're human beings. We judge. Listen. That's what happens. Uh, Megan O'Neill, thank you so much for coming to talk to us. Megan Fox.